Well, I got something in the mail the other day, and you know, I haven't done an unboxing video in a long time, so I thought I would have an unboxing video for you today. equestrian friends it's me Lisa the budget equestrian welcome back to a new video and like I said in the beginning I have not done an unboxing video in quite some time and I don't know why but in the springtime it's like I feel like I need to refresh and get some new things so I made an order on writing warehouse actually last week just the beginning of last week they sent me this this right here so i thought i would open it up and show you what i bought Ooh, fun stuff <laughs> so excited about this Ooh. So it seems like every spring or summer, probably more spring, I get super excited because spring is here and that means I'm gonna be spending more time outside with my horses. And since I'm gonna be spending more time outside with my horses, I get really excited when they have new brushes come out. And I found this awesome curry comb. This is made by Haas and it's really cool because it's got like a unicorn horn and some iridescent lettering on the back of it. And I really like the Haas brushes and I really like this curry comb because it's a little bit flexible. It has soft teeth on it, I guess you could say. But the main thing I really like is it has this leather hand strap. So my hand fits inside perfectly. There's a little bit of room. So it will even fit well when I have my gloves on because I typically wear my gloves all the time when I'm out with the horses, even in the summertime. And I just really like that. So this is very nice. Again, this is the, I don't even know what it says. It's called the Pummel Striegel Curry Comb in gray. And I think they have this in gray and purple if I remember correctly but I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get some new brushes. It's springtime and this will motivate me to get out there and brush my ponies. And the Striegel, 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 curry comb is $6.95. That's a pretty good deal. And to go along with the curry comb that I bought, I also got this brush and this is a stiff brush. It's the Pummel N Horn. I guess that's the product line of it. But it, I can't even say this, it's Flauschy Wurzel three centimeter brush. And it's a pretty stiff brush, which will work wonderful on my horse's legs. And I really like the size of it. It fits very well into my hand. And I'm not really sure what the backing is made of, but what I do know and I do love about these brushes is how easy it is to clean them. So once I've used it on my horses for a while and it gets dirt and dust and dander and all that stuff in the brush itself. It's really easy to rinse out the brush, wash the brush, turn it on its side or on its back to dry, and it'll be good as new. And this Wurzel brush was $9.95, which is a pretty good deal for the Haas brushes. Like I said, all of my brushes that I use consistently are the Haas brushes, just because I love them and they work so well. And to go along with my stiff brush, I also got a flick brush. Now they call this a main brush, and I'm not sure exactly why, but this brush has very long bristles, eight centimeter long bristles, which are wonderful for flicking that dust and dander off of your horse. And I do have another flick brush, and I really liked it at first. It was by Winter Circle, but what I found is in the winter time, when the horse's hair is longer, every time I use that, it really builds up static electricity and I keep shocking Pleasant with it. And he does not like being shocked. So I wanted to find a brush, hopefully that will not zap him when I'm brushing him. And I'm really hopeful that this brush will 
be the brush that doesn't give him a zap when I touch him on the nose. And this brush was really affordable. It was $10.95. And I really like the gray back and then the purple and white bristles. It just reminds me of spring. And since it's spring and the horses are shedding, I wanted some new brushes. All right, and the last brush that I got, this again is by Haas, and this is the Diamond Wurzel brush. Now this is a very stiff brush, which kind of goes along with this little Wurzel brush. That was a Wurzel brush too, yep. But I have the soft diamond brush. It's kind of like a finishing brush and I really like it. So I wanted to get the match to it in a stiff bristle brush and this is what that one is. Now the finishing brush that I have is I think that's probably my favorite brush that I like to use on my horses because it does really bring out a shine on their coat. And this one was a lot more affordable. I think that brush was like $24 when I bought it and this one was $11.95. And I've been really happy with the Haas Diamond line of brushes so I am super excited to go try this and see how well it works on my horses. Now, one thing I do like, again, it has the leather hand strap, which is very nice, and it forms to your hand when you're using it on your horse. But then another reason I wanted a new curry comb is I like to get the hair and dirt out of the brush I'm using with the curry comb. So the curry comb basically serves two purposes. One, I can curry my horse with it, and two, it works really well to get my brush clean while I'm using it on my horse. All right, I have one more thing that I bought from Riding Warehouse. And actually this is the main reason that I placed an order. So about three years ago, almost, actually I think it was a little over three years ago, I bought my riding helmet. And the helmet that I had was a 1K Defender helmet, which I really, really liked. But unfortunately, the helmet is now three years old or a little bit older. And once you have a riding helmet for three years, that's basically its life expectancy. That is if it has not been involved in a fall. Thankfully, my helmet has not been involved in a fall. So that means that my Defender helmet has reached its lifetime expectancy. So, or I think that's how you say it. But once your riding helmet is three years old, then it's time to replace it with a new helmet. And it's been a while since I've bought a new riding helmet, so I had a lot of helmets to choose from. I was trying to be more cost effective though. I really did like my 1K helmet, but I found that it was really hot, especially riding in the summer. It was pretty warm in the helmet. So I was looking for a helmet that was lightweight and also very breathable and also that did not cost $250. So that was why I went to Riding Warehouse and this is what I bought. So this is an IRH riding helmet or International Riding Helmets. This is the Equa Pro SV and I went against the grain and I bought something non-traditional and I got a gray riding helmet. And just from holding the helmet, this is really nice. It is very lightweight and it has a lot of vents on it for air circulation, which to me is really important. And I really like the look of this helmet. So this helmet is the IRH Equipro SV Wide Brim Helmet in gray. And I like the wide brim feature on it. That was one of the reasons why I wanted this helmet was because it has a wider brim. So that means I'm going to have a little bit more like a sun visor effect when I'm riding in it. And I've had Troxel helmets. I've had other helmets before that were the more affordable options. And I have to say that I really like the look of this helmet. It doesn't look like the old style riding helmets. Remember those, the white ones that basically look like bicycle helmets? Well, I really like this style. It's very nice, it's stylish. And now I gotta try it on and see if it fits my fat head. I had to get the medium to large size because I have a fat head. 
But what's really cool is it has like this dial system in the back. So you can crank it down so that it's going to fit you. So let's make this bad boy big because like I said, I got a big head. Ooh, I like that. That's very nice. I think the medium to large size was the way for me to go. Yeah, that is a very, very nice riding helmet. I have to say I really like the IRH EquiPro wide brimmed helmet and I'm really excited to go and try this out and use it. Now one thing new that I've learned since it's been a while since I bought a riding helmet is a lot of companies are now offering a replacement option for you when you buy one of their helmets. And Riding Warehouse has been nice enough to actually put that on their website so you can actually see what it would cost you to replace your helmet if it's involved in a fall. So for IRH, for example, I can buy a replacement to the helmet that I bought already and it's going to cost me, I think it was like $30 or $40. I don't know, but there was a discount available for if I needed to replace this helmet because it was in a fall within three years. A lot of other helmet manufacturers are doing that. They're giving you a discount on getting a replacement helmet. So if you're looking for a helmet because it's either been three years since you bought your helmet or because you've had a fall with your helmet, I would really encourage you to go check out Riding Warehouse because they had a lot of helmets to choose from. I think they probably had the biggest selection of helmets. I looked other places, but I kept going back to Riding Warehouse because they not only had the largest selection, but they also had the best price on helmets. And I don't think you can really put too high of a price on the safety of your head, right? Your brain's pretty important. So having a... ASTM certified helmet is kind of like no matter what I do when I'm riding I always have my helmet on. So and the IRH helmet actually came with a helmet owner registration so I'm actually going to go online and register my new helmet with IRH so then that way they know when I bought my helmet and in the future if I forget how long I've had it, I'm sure they will send me a reminder and say, hey, your helmet is nearing its lifetime use expectancy, so you need to get a new helmet. Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you how much this helmet cost. So this helmet at Riding Warehouse was $64.95, which to me is, that's an excellent, excellent deal. And it looks really cool. I like the gray. What do you think? Would you ride in something other than black? They had the black, they had gray, and they had navy, and I think they had brown too in this model, but I, I really like it. I think it's very nice. Probably not going to go into a hunter ring with it, but that's not going to be happening for me anyway, so I went with a color that I would really like. All right, so that is my unboxing of everything I bought from Riding Warehouse. I got what? One, two, three, four. So I got five things and I spent just a hair over a hundred dollars. So I'm really happy with all of the items I got. I'm going to go play with them with my ponies and probably can't ride today because it's just still really cold out, which is really disappointing, but eventually I will get to ride again. And I did not opt for the super fast shipping for Riding Warehouse, but I ordered this. Let's see. Let's see. So I placed my order on April 12th and I had all of this stuff to me, my package, by April 15th. So three days turnaround time from Riding Warehouse to my house. That is a pretty good deal. And I spent over $75, so I got free shipping. I think it's worth it. Have you ever shopped at Riding Warehouse? If you haven't, I highly encourage you go check them out. They have lots of really cool things and they are one of the first places that I go to when I'm looking for something new or something I need for my horses. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my other product reviews, DIY projects, and horse related videos showing you how to make the most of the time that you have with your horse. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.